For those of you who don't know me yet, I'm Dr. Cameron. We have initiated several procedures here in the office to ensure your safety and the optimal results of your chiropractic care. Stress, anxiety, and frustration occur when we lose control of a situation or don't know what to do next. I'm gonna help you out with that right now by explaining the steps you should follow in the office to maintain safety for you and those who are around you and to get the best results with your care. Here we go. When you receive your appointment reminder via text one hour before your appointment, please respond with a yes and a no. The yes is to signify you're attending your appointment and the no signifies that you've answered to all your four COVID questions is a no. If you should have to answer yes to any of those four questions, then please stay home and call the office. When you arrive at the office, please text us to let, you know, let us know that you have arrived and we will invite you in as soon as we can. This helps us to uh, keep a flow in the office and ensures social distancing. We will invite you in as soon as we can. Please be patient. I recommend that you park in the front of the building if you can. It, will, it makes it easier for us to see you. Before you come in, please remember, wear your mask and leave your purse or bags or other items that you don't need in your vehicle. Now, some patients have chosen to leave their coat in the car as well. When you enter the office, we have a sanitizing station to the right of the door. Please wash your hands and take notice of your temperature. Diane will ask you what it is and ask you the four questions again. If your temperature is below 37.4 degrees and your answers are all no, then you can feel free to sit down and start your warm-up exercises. To get the best results with your care, all adults should perform a minimum of 30 repetitions of the wobble exercises and 30 repetitions of the dip traction. These are designed to warm up the muscles, ligaments, and disc before your adjustment. If you do not do these, then you will lose some of your results with your care. Once you've warmed up, please lay face down on the table. If you sit down again while you wait for me to adjust you, then you will compress the discs and lose the benefits of the warm up. This is your time. Please lay down, breathe, and relax. After you've been adjusted, head out to the stand on the vibration plate for three to five minutes at 20 hertz. Remember to stand tall, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, looking straight ahead and breathe. This is how the flow of almost all of your visits will go in the office. If you ever have any other questions, please let me know. Your safety and the, your results are very much important to me. If you are looking for more tips, exercise, and advice on getting faster, better results, then I have two resources for you. One is our blog at www.cameroncairo.com or our Facebook group, Dr. Cameron's Health Tips.